Hello, I'm Mr Hinchley. I'm Curriculum Team Leader for Science at Trinity. I'm going to take you through what you need to do to be successful in your Physics PPE. The course that we follow is the OCR Physics A specification. Structure of this is that the content is divided into six modules. Module 1, the development of practical skills in physics. Module 2, the foundations of physics. Module 3, force and motion. Module 4, Electrons, Waves and Photons. Module 5, the Newtonian World and Astrophysics. Module 6, Particles and Medical Physics. The assessment structure of the course is that Paper 1 is a modelling physics paper. You have, this is out of 100 marks, you have 2 hours 15 minutes and 37% of your exam grade comes from this paper. This paper assesses content from Modules 1, 2, 3 and 5. The outline of modules are on the right hand side. Paper 2 is the Exploring Physics paper. This is out of 100 marks again, 2 hours 15 minutes and 37% of your exam grade. This assesses content from modules 1, 2, 4 and 6. The final paper is a paper 3 Unified Physics paper. This is out of 70 marks, you get 1 hour 30 minutes and you have, uh, this forms 26% of your exam grade. This assesses content from all modules. The practical endorsement is a non-exam assessment. The activities for this are carried out in class and assessed against national criteria. You are well on with this part of the assessment. For your PPE, the assessment structure will be one paper, which has 50% of the mark from the modelling physics paper and 50% of the mark from the exploring physics paper. You will get the allotted time allowance and again marks will be assigned based on these questions. The assessment structure in terms of changes to the exam for your final exams uh, at the time of publishing there's been minimal change. The only allowance that we have been given is that where practical cannot be completed a demonstration or simulation will be used in its place. You will notice this in your normal teaching. These skills will also be fed into the practical endorsement so that you are not disadvantaged. Our assessment objectives are displayed on the screen. The assessment structure follows this weighting of each assessment objective in each paper. Mathematical skills are assessed all the way through the paper. You will be looking at arithmetic and numerical computation, handling data, algebra, graphs, geometry. You will be well used to using your data and formula sheet. It contains a wealth of information that you need to know to answer many questions. You do need to know your way around this data and formula sheet. It does, however, not contain all the equations. There are some that you need to be able to remember or be able to derive from the equations that are given in the formula booklet. Little pointers for exam technique. You need to read the information in the question carefully. You need to reread it as appropriate. You need to identify the command word and the skill that the question is asking you to do. You need to look at the number of marks available. Decide if you need to use your data sheet and which section you'll be using. You need to write down clearly all the steps and calculated values that you make. This is a really important step, particularly for error carried forward marks. You need to check your answer against the marks available. You should always attempt every question in the paper. Revision materials are being supplied and produced as needed. We do have some revision guides that you can purchase from the department and printed resources will be available. After sitting the paper, we're going to perform a question level analysis. This will look at marks gained and areas for development. The areas for development will be worked on in our revision and achieve package that we will be offering all students. Before you sit your exam, you need to remember that these assessments are important as information for you and for us as teachers. We want you to work hard, we want you to stay positive and remember the outcome is in your hands. Good luck.